Good morning guys, in the truck this morning. I am on my way to go and get the engine that's going in the old school hot rod. Uh, as you've seen, there's a video earlier, the teardown of that 49 flathead. Um, it's pretty rough. The crank's already been turned in it. And it's going to be expensive to rebuild because these things aren't cheap. Uh, and then I had that uh, Mercury flathead as well that I figured if I was going to build it, I'd use the crank out of it to make it a stroker to get up to 255 cubic inches or plus whatever if I bore it out. Um, but I found another one. So what I'm doing this morning. It's an engine in, the three-speed transmission all still together. Actually, when I talked to the guy, it was all still in the car. Um, and he's confident that it will run. He had bought it for a project he was building. Decided, you know, he's going to go for small block Chevy just because he's smarter than I am, apparently. Uh, cheaper to build. I get a whole shed full of small block Chevy parts. But here I am trying to go with flathead. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit. I'll show you when we get there and where it is. And some of you might recognize where it is once I get there. I'll be back soon. And some of you can tell where we are just by the garage. Okay, for those of you who didn't notice, when I pulled in and showed you where the shop was, I was picking the engine up at. It was at Chad Hilt's, Bad Chad Customs, down in Canning, Nova Scotia. Um, had a great day, spent a while with them. Uh, the engine was still in the car, so we had to yank it out. I didn't get any video of us pulling the engine or any of that stuff in there, but they were videotaping it for their channel, so I'm sure that will show up uh, shortly. So what I ended up with is, let me flip you around, I'll throw this rag down here for a second. What I ended up with is found right there. The 1947 flathead out of the project he's working on now. You've seen the last few videos of him tearing the old car apart. Uh, the engine's still free. It rotates freely. It's complete with generator, starter, carburetor, oil filter. Everything's here. Um, Trans mount transmissions on it, all three speed. Ooh. Transmission still on it, all three speed transmission. Got to get a shifter. Um, she rotates freely. The old distributor has seen better days, but I priced one online. I can get one for at Summit, I think it was, or one of those for 120 bucks. Um, uh, this is the earlier engine, the. Uh, 59A. Is it right here? Yeah, where are we? C59A. It's a 1947, so it's a little different than the other flatheads I have. They're all the 8BA, the later, the 49 to 53 ones. Um, so, this, I'm hoping to get into the car shortly. I got to build some motor mounts. Um, Get it in there, build something to mount the transmission to. I've got that part of the transmission mount that bolts to the, the wings at the back of the transmission, so it shouldn't be too hard to build something. The other thing I got was over here. It's another complete flathead. Now this is the later, it's like an 8BA, the 49 to 53 uh, transmission is on it, but yeah, she may have had a bad day. Um, the cover's not bolted on. And everything looks like it's been open for quite a while. Uh, so that part doesn't look too good. Who knows what the clutch and flywheel are like. Um, but it's fairly complete as well. It's got the fuel pump on it. There's a generator on it. Now, I don't know anything about this engine. Um, other than it was sitting in the yard and I'd asked him 
you saw, saw it in one of his videos. I asked him, is that the engine out of the 47? He said, no, that's another one. And you can have that too if you want. So I said, sure, I'll take anything that's free. Um, but it's complete, distributor and all. Coil still on it. Test it, might be a good coil. I've got from that batch of stuff a few weeks ago. I've got half a dozen coils now. Um, we'll take it apart between it and the other two that I have. Maybe there's enough bits and pieces to build one. Um, without spending a whole lot of money. Well, hopefully. Um, back to me. Uh, so thanks to Chad and Jolene. They made me very welcome down there this weekend. Uh, we spent most of the afternoon showing me some of the stuff and the pro uh, projects they're working on. Um, the car that they're taking to the Jamboree, the same thing that I'm building this for to go to the Pine Tree Jamboree. And we're looking to have a whole lot of fun. Anyway, hopefully next time you see this, the engine might be sitting in the hole. Um, or watch us putting it in the hole. I'm not sure which will come first, putting the axles under this thing or putting the engine in. I'm out of here. I'll see you next time. Have a great night.